in my mailbox number 22. I went crazy book shopping this week and I must be stopped. Someone must stop me. <sighs> I know you guys have the same kind of addiction, so we I shall share my book shopping addiction right now. Um, first of all, I'll show you some swag and the publisher's books that I got. So here it goes. I have this cute little ribbon kind of bookmark, Pushing the Limits. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oops. Ugh. It's upside down. So that was a cute little thing there. And this is a Harlequin public um, contact that I have, the publicity. Um, public relations coordinator. Um, Hey book nerds, this is my, in my mailbox number 22. I went crazy book shopping, so you will have to bear with me. I have a lot of books. Um, I also have some swag to show you. I got Pushing the Limits, cute little bookmark, and this, her business card from Harlequin. Iron Knight, isn't that amazing to have that as a business card? I also got some swag from... Zeradia, I believe that's how you say it. Um, she's promoting her book, Vicious Deep. Crazy. I have this on my neck gully. I need to read it. I'm so excited. And this cute little button. Mer These are not the Marines you know, so that sounds really creepy. These are cute. Thanks for Zoraida for that. And this is from HBG Canada. Thanks, guys. I got 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstead. Isn't that such a creepy cover? Look at that. Oh. And these books are from Random House. Fallen in Love by Lauren Kate. Another, this is an arc. The Gathering Storm by Robin Bridges. I heard really good things about this one. Wonder by P.J. Palacio. Cal... I'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Starters by Lissa Price. I still have to read that. I know I have two other copies, but one's in a giveaway. The Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Weiser... Weiserman. So sorry, I kind of burped right there. <laughs> Um, this one I'm excited to read. The Calling Kelly Armstrong. And I bought the first one because you must read this first one. Thanks, Random House Canada. Um, this is all from Harlequin. Pushing the Limits by Katie and McGarry. Art, this looks really good. This contemporary read. So I can't wait to read it. And I practically squealed when I got this one. The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. I can't wait to start this. I want to start this like right now and I never knew it was such a big, it's like 500 pages. I can't wait to read this. Thank you so much Arlegan. Ah, And now my book shopping addiction is gonna manifest. Um, this is from Amazon.ca. The Mephesto Covenant by Trinity Fagan. I heard this from Wendy from a cupcake and latte book blog and she said it was really cute and good so I had to get it. Wish by Alexandra Bullen. Cute. Like her dress is fading into stars. Um, I'm not sure what it's about but I saw the the second book and I read the synopsis and it was pretty interesting, so that's why I got the first one. And these books that I've been that I am getting all to show you right now is from Walmart. They have a really good section there. So Infamous by Sherilyn Kenyon. I have to get the red the red cover because there's the blue one, the green one, and then the red cover. And this one came out this week, God is Interrupted by Amy Carter. Ready read this. I thought it would be better, but I just felt that Kate was really whiny, so you must check out my review. I'll post it down below. And this is all from Chapters, just so you know, there's a lot. 
Um, the Gathering by Kelly Armstrong. See, someone recommended it from the staff. So I can read that, and then I'll read The Gathering after. And I finally got this, The Felt Our Stars by John Green. I know I didn't get a signed copy, I know I should have got it, but I heard this is a tearjerker. Juliet Immortal by Stacey J. I heard this one was cute. It's basically Juliet from Romeo and Juliet, Shakespeare's play. Um, this is what happens when I believe it's after or is like the real, the true story of Romeo and Juliet or something. I, um, apparently Romeo tries to kill her. So this Sounds really interesting. I heard good reviews about it. And I got Andrea Kramer's Blood Rose. And I have the first one, Nightshade, somewhere down below because they're the bigger covers. I tried to put all my books by size. And I heard that series was a letdown, I believe. People did not like the third one. So that kind of reminded me of how Hunger Games ended. I did not like the third one either. Well, what can you do? Um, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Five bucks. I know, I was going to get this at full price. You guys have to wait until they put them on bar in the bargain section. I have the paperback of this, and I had to get the hardcover to match my series. And all I've heard about this series is that it's amazing. It's the Chaos Walking Trilogy, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. And the second one, the ask and the answer. Too lazy to get the hardcovers online. Monsters of Men. And that's that from that series. I really can't wait to start that. A lot of five out of five reviews on Goodreads. And Great Mercy by Robin Lefevers. Already read this one and she's kick ass. If you want a heroine, a heroine. Is that how you pronounce it? I believe it is. Um, a heroine that is kick ass and can basically murder a man in her in their sleep. You should read that one. And she's a nun, so she's a nun who's an assassin. So make sure to comment below and let me know what you guys got this week. And I'll check out your IMMs as well. So let me know and make sure to enter the contest. It's still linked below and I'll see you guys all next week. Bye guys.